So in front of me here, I have a early 90s uh, Remington Folding Hunter uh, pattern. Um, in the 80s and 90s, Camillus was making knives for Remington under the Remington trademark for them. Um, and I have a lot of the bullet knives that were made in the 80s and 90s, which are uh, reproductions of knives that were made back in like the 1920s, uh, but with, you know, usually Delrin handles instead of bone and stainless steel blades, but still really well-made knives for the kind of prices that you can still find them at occasionally. Um, so I saw this on eBay. Uh, while me and the girlfriend were on vacation. And, well, first of all, I saw one in store at an antique shop and they wanted like, I think a hundred dollars for it. And I thought, well, that's crazy. So I went on eBay and there was an auction um, and I bid on it. And then I completely forgot about the fact that I bid on it and paid for it and everything. And it showed up one day and I was like, what is this? <laughs> And I was wondering what was in the package and I opened it up and I was like, oh, I do remember buying this. And I think I paid like $40 for this. If that, it might've been like 35 or something. Um, so not a whole lot of interest in these. I mean, there is definitely interest. Like there's people out there that correct, collect the Remington bullet knives and these Camillus made Remingtons, uh, like I kind of do, but you know, not near the interest level of like the Winchester knives that were made by Queen or of course, uh, Great Eastern Cutlery or Shad Morgan or any kind of like really vintage knife. Um, but, you know, people do want them. Just I just got lucky and ended up getting this one for less than $50. Uh, in general, a uh, bullet knife, uh, if you can find one from like 50 to $75, that's pretty good my opinion, depending on which model it is and everything and how badly you want it, of course. Um, but I really feel like I got a pretty good deal on this. Now, I don't really know what these go for, but this isn't a bullet knife. This is like some sort of shotgun commemorative uh, folding hunter. Kind of hard to show because it's very lightly engraved there. You can see it there. But that's, I believe, a Remington... I guess it's an 1187 because that was on the other side of the blade um which is a semi-auto shotgun uh but this knife was kind of made it seems to commemorate the uh 870 pump action shotgun which i have one of and the 1187 semi-auto shotgun now i'm not sure if this was like a deal where like you bought a shotgun and you got a knife or if this is just something they decided to do uh, on the side of that. So I'm not really sure there. Um, but folding hunter, large knife, as you can see, it's like five and a half inches or something, five and a quarter inches, uh, closed. So, you know, big knife, Jig Delrin. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Jig Delrin. I like bone, uh, and wood and stuff. I like stuff that changes over time as you carry the knife and everything. And Jig Delrin will do that, but not nearly as well as bone or wood or something like that will. Um, and then you get a clip blade here. It says Remington on it. And the clip blade's about four and a quarter inches long. The cutting edge of around probably eh, like three and three and five eighths, something like that. Uh, you see the tang stamp here. Remington UMC, made in USA. The year it was made, which is 1990. And then here you can see what I was talking about. It's got a little etch on there for the 1187 auto shotgun and the 870 pump. Um, so that's interesting. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not sure if they gave these out with shotguns or if it was like uh, just like a commemorative thing for the shotguns. I don't know. Then, of course, on the side of the blade, you get your typical uh, Remington trademark etch there that is on all of the Camillus made Remingtons. And the nickel silver shield, which I've already tried to show here with the very lightly engraved uh, 1187 shotgun there. Uh, nickel silver bolsters, brass liners, um, and these are supposed to be made out of, I believe, 440 steel, uh, 440 stainless. So they are stainless, which I would not prefer, but 
I mean, they are well-made knives, so I just kind of accept that they're stainless and buy them anyway because they're really pretty affordable, well-made knives. Um, the action on the knife is pretty good. It's not amazing, but I mean, it's certainly well enough to use the knife. It's no great Eastern cutler cutlery or anything, but it snaps open and it closes and everything, and it's smooth. Stays open. So those are the important things, really. It stays open. Um, but yeah, not super strong action. Does snap closed and open. Um, no blade play, if I remember correctly. Yep, no blade play on this one. Um, these, like I said, these Camillus made Remingtons are just pretty well-made knives. You can still find uh, pretty good deals on and everything. Now, they're not going to be perfect. Let me show off the blade center in here because it's slightly off to one side. The knives are not going to be absolutely perfect, but they're pretty well made and they're affordable, uh, generally speaking. Um, if I had to choose between spending, you know, $70 on a case knife or spending $70 on one of these Camillus made Remingtons, I would suggest the Camillus made Remington knife. Um, over the case knife, just because I've seen so many um, quality control issues with case knives lately. Um, but anyway, this is the, I believe the model number's on the box here. So this says 1R8, focus on the, okay, 1R870. So I guess that's the model number, the R870 or something. Uh, box is bright yellow, which is cool. Um, and we got some paperwork in here too, um, which is neat. Yeah, so Remington shotgun commemorative knife. Congratulations, you have purchased Remington's reintroduction of a winning combination. In 1982, Remington offered a bullet knife with the purchase of a new rifle. The bullet knife was now the faint was the now famous R eleven twenty three, which I think is the jumbo trapper reproduction. That knife has increased one thousand percent in value since nineteen eighty two. Um, so yeah, and then it's got some stuff down here. Probably cared for the knife will give you a lifetime of excellent service. The hand honed blade, I would doubt that. Is made of 440 stainless steel, and then it's got a Rockwell hardness scale there. I don't know how accurate that is. Non-rusting brass, which I guess means it won't get that green stuff on it. I don't know about that. Uh, beautiful Dem Delrin Remstag. They have a registered trademark on the word Remstag. That's interesting. Uh, made in the United States, of course, made by Camillus. Um got some information there about how to sharpen the knife and then down here you'll see Remington and DuPont. DuPont owned Remington for a while and they owned Remington uh, during the time these knives were made. Uh, but anyway, uh, neat knife if you can find one for not a whole lot of money or whatever. You know, it's a good deal as far as I'm concerned. Um, I do like a good folding hunter. I have my case folding hunter, which has two blades, which I really like. And now I have this one, which is a little bit cheaper model, uh, stainless steel. Um, one blade, so it's a little thinner, a little bit easier to carry, a little less heavy. Uh, but I like big knives. I carry the Great Eastern Cutlery 23, the two blade jumbo trapper. Uh, I wouldn't say regularly anymore, but I used to carry it all the time. Um, and I really liked that knife a lot. Um, so a big knife really doesn't bother me, but you know, some people it would. And for those people, you know, maybe a belt sheath or something for this. Uh, but overall, you know, just a well-made knife that I found for a really good deal um, on eBay. Um, and if you look, you can sometimes find some of these older, uh, you know, 80s and 90s Remington knives um, for a reasonable amount of money. And, you know, during the 80s and 90s, at least the early 90s, I think up until like 2007, 
whenever Camillus went out of business, which I think was 2007, they were made by Camillus, all of the bullet knives. Um, now, some of there might be some cheaper knives that were made in the early 2000s that would not have been made by Camillus, but still would have had Remington on them. But you should be able to tell that pretty easily, I would think. Um, and then after Camillus stopped producing the bullet knife, then Baron's son took it over for a little bit. And then Buck took it over for a little bit. And then nowadays, it's kind of seems like Baron Sons making some of them, and then they're contracting Great Eastern Cutlery to make some of them. Um, so it's just kind of an interesting thing. But this isn't a bullet knife. This is some sort of shotgun commemorative knife. But when I saw that it was, you know, what it was up to on eBay, I couldn't resist bidding on it, and I ended up winning it for a really reasonable amount of money. Um, but anyway, um, that's going to be it for this video on this uh, Remington Folding Hunter um, shotgun knife, whatever I'm going to call this. That'll be it for this video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one, and I hope you have a good day.